What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk about how you can build a Shopify store that will make you over a hundred thousand dollars in 2018. So let's go. Alright, so hopping into my computer here, I have a couple simple basic steps that you can start taking to begin to build the momentum in the direction that you need to be going in order to start making some serious money on Shopify. Uh, and these are just some basics that anyone can sort of begin to understand and I a lot of what I talk about here in this video is Sort of the back end right front it forget front end for a second. Yes, you need nice pictures Yes, you need a nice logo. Yes, you need a nice looking site But what you really need is a solid back end and this is sort of me talking about that so I say start with Instagram which basically means start with your start with an easy form of audience growth, right? Which can be anything from Instagram influencers to finding a Facebook page that already has a following in the niche that you're interested in and then gathering what is known as, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here, Facebook pixel data or as well building an email list or as well building a Facebook messenger list which is something that a lot of people aren't doing right now that I'll be talking about on my channel. Emails convert 15% on average. Facebook Messenger lists convert 90% on average. And this is something that I'm going to be talking about on my channel quite a bit. I highly recommend you come and check that out. So start with Instagram or slash start with tapping into an already built audience. So don't try to build your own audience right now. Tap into the audiences that other people have built. Have some capital to play with, $500, $600 to just tap into audiences that are already built. Collect data from those audiences and retarget them, remarket to them with an email list, with Facebook pixel data, with a Facebook messenger list, which I will talk about on my channel. Check it out when you can. So. Once you have your data, once you have then a general understanding of your niche, and once you've collected data from other people's audiences, maybe you've built your email list, maybe you've built your Facebook pixel data, maybe you've built even just a small following on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever it may be, you have an audience. As you know, if you watch my videos, you know that your biggest asset is your audience as an online entrepreneur. Your biggest asset is the list of people that you've grown that are ready to come back for more from you at any given time. Uh, so you've built that to just a couple hundred people. Just a couple hundred people is, is, is more than enough. So you go over to Facebook with the data. You start running some ads uh, that will retarget. Uh, oops. Start running retargeting ads to your new audience. Uh, and once you've done that, now you are testing conversion with this new audience. Yes, maybe you have converted a little bit in this starting point, which is building your audience, but this is where the converting begins to really happen. Converting happens even more once we get to step three, but let's talk about step two still. Go over to Facebook with the data, or maybe even go over to Google AdWords with the data. Um, or maybe even market to um, Facebook Messenger list. So step one is basically build your audience. Step two is talking about how we can begin to convert it. Start running retargeting ads to your new audience. Uh, do marketing pushes to your email slash Facebook messenger list, which is huge, you guys. Uh, go over to Facebook with the data, Google AdWords, market to your Facebook messenger list, do marketing pushes to your email, Facebook messenger list, offer products for cheap slash free to your lists. The things that you can do with a list are infinite. Just Google email marketing tactics. That's what you want to apply at this point. Now that you have a list of a couple hundred people, you can take that, you can run with it. Continue running this back end, continue building it as you market to your current list. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. And once you've sort of converted at step two, once you have your list and you've begun converting it, this is setting up a backend. Set up your email marketing, uh, including things like abandoned cart recovery, or a thing, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Abandoned, there you go. Abandoned cart recovery, things like um, running Facebook ads to specific Facebook, here, can't spell anything right now. Facebook pixel data users. So for example, like people who visited a, oops, visited a certain page on your site. And so guys, what I'm getting at here, and this, I'm getting really complicated. I'm getting really in depth at this point. I should take a couple steps back. I'm getting into the bushes. The point of what I'm saying here is build your list, market to your list, 
continue building your list, market to that list over and over. That's, that's the back and forth, is build your list, market to it, build your list, market to it, build your list, market to it. And there's a thousand and one ways to build your list. So once you've set up a back end, best back end that I can think of is email marketing and Facebook Messenger marketing which is basically the equivalent of email but over Facebook Messenger which converts at a 90% rate as opposed to email marketing converting anywhere from 10 to 15% on average. Uh, so those are the basics of how you can run, seriously you could run a $100,000 Shopify store in 2018 using these simple methods which is build a list, market to that list, continue building your list, market to it again, build it, market it, and as well as you're building that list, bring that list value, offer them free products, offer them products for 80% off, 60% off, 70% off, offer them, maybe if you're in a niche that you can educate to, maybe you're selling to sewing or knitting people, people who like to knit or people who like to sew, send them videos or articles on knitting and sewing, bring them value, and then sell to them. Uh, you should be bringing your audience 75% value, if not way more, and only selling to them about 10% of the time. Uh, that's just that's just numbers off the top of my head, and I think that works incredibly well. Uh, so again, let's just go over all this. Start with Instagram. Start with tapping into an already built audience. Uh, collect Facebook pixel data. Build your email list. Build your Facebook Messenger list uh, by offering deals. That's a huge one. Uh, maybe you know, join our Facebook Messenger list, and we'll give you thirty percent off of all the products on our site. Something like that. Go over to Facebook with the data, Google AdWords, market to your Facebook Messenger list, uh, start running retargeting ads to your new audience, do marketing pushes to your email slash Facebook Messenger list, offer products for cheap slash free to your list. And something that actually nobody talks about, uh, especially these e-commerce e YouTube people, is outsourcing, you guys. That's a whole other video, but you can outsource a lot of these tasks. You can outsource the marketing to your Facebook Messenger list. You can outsource the even the Facebook ads that you run. You can outsource all of this. There's people out there that know so much more about these topics than you and I do. A uh, golden rule that a author that I really love, John C. Maxwell, he talks about. He's a business expert. He's a consultant. He's a leader. He's an incredible dude. And he talks about how if someone is 80% as good as me at something, they are worth giving the task to. So if you can find someone that is 80% as good as you at finding Instagram influencers, that's a huge outsourcing point. Running Facebook ads, doing the back-end email marketing for your Shopify site, maybe even creating your Shopify site. If they're 80% as good as you, then they are completely worth outsourcing the project to. And likely enough, considering we're both stupid entrepreneurs, we don't have any skills in terms of like technical crap, it's totally worth outsourcing. Uh, if you don't understand email marketing, if you don't understand Facebook marketing, learn from someone, outsource even the knowledge of that to them, have them teach you so that you can go back in and learn and apply what you've learned. Uh, so, you know, outsource constantly, outsource the logo, outsource the website design, outsource uh, Facebook ads. I can't spell anything right now. Fa outsource your email marketing. Outsource your Instagram influencer research. Outsource everything, you guys. There's no reason why you need to be doing all this yourself. And the cool thing is you can go to a website. Let me give you this. Onlinejobs.ph. This is a website um, that I've used before. I used to have someone edit my YouTube videos for me and make the thumbnails for me through this website. This is uh, Filipino workers who are incredibly hardworking men and women who love working for American people because there's a lot of money there. Uh, you will make people the richest person on their block by hiring some people from this site. And it's an incredible opportunity for them and for you. Uh, they know a lot more than we do about these technical things and they can actually help us do incredible things. Uh, plenty of Facebook advertisers, plenty of people willing to research Instagram influencers guaranteed and even message and create deals with these influencers and set up a marketing strategy for you with you. Uh, there's no reason you can't be doing that. So. I want to stop myself here. There's so much you can be doing to build this $100,000 Shopify store in 2018, but this is the basics. I want to cut it off here. If you want more content like this, do subscribe to the channel. Check out the course that I have in the description laying out just the basics of how you can start a Shopify store, how you can start selling, how you can start creating just decent income for yourself through Shopify as well. Uh, be sure, I think I already said this, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'll be uploading more content soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about Shopify and about online entrepreneurship. I'll see you around. One more time. One more time.